the dust wall. We're finally starting this project. It's been a second, but I'm pretty happy with the way this is going. Thanks for coming, you guys. Hey guys, welcome to JD and the Sump C. Uh, we're going to be doing some kit bashing tonight. Uh, I got these guys. Yeah, I got two of them for this video. I'm going to do four in total because, you know, the end of Jay's uh, journey to Secundus Ash Waste campaign ends at the dust wall. So I need to get this ready. But yeah, we need at least four of these put together. This build, this video is going to be about two of them. And then I will do another two build videos and then uh, probably a paint video to just get all of it painted all at once. Should be a lot of fun. Got to figure out which way these things are facing first, but we need to armor it up. We need to add some doorway or add a big door and yeah, catwalks. There's all kinds of crap we got to do. So um, thanks again for stopping by and uh, let's get to it. Woo! Lots of sped up footage on this one, split up with a bit of close-up real-time footage. Really, really had a good time playing with this. Uh, as you can see, I think I had to pull every tool out of the toolbox for this. <laughs> um, yeah, got all the cameras working, got all the microphones working. Uh, kind of the, well, look, you got scissors involved. Who uses scissors? <laughs> this was a big bits bash. Um, those walls that Jay uh, made, you know, all those years ago that we played on. Um, I made the hive wall out of one of them um, and then got sidetracked because Secundus is here now. And I seem to love Secundus an awful lot. Um, there's entirely too much, uh, stuff going on to these. Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys watch for a little bit. This is just me gluing the basic shapes on. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you in a second.
did want to pop in here real quick and I didn't bother showing uh, the rest of the gluing of this. Uh, all you're really seeing in this video is me just using a hot glue gun to just set everything where it is. Um, it all went over with E6000 and a mixture of my super glue baking soda. Um, uh, right before I did the sand texture. Um, this video is kind of long enough the way it is already though, so I didn't want to uh, bore you guys too much. Uh, very interesting walkthrough coming up right here, so I'll let you guys get to it. Really excited about this, guys. We're getting on to the final parts of the build. Um, sand texturing. We got to put some texture on this wall here. Maybe do a little bit more. Just some fine tuning. Not a whole lot. I can't believe exactly how exciting this is. This thing is turning out great. And it'll totally be playable, which is cool. So, yeah, you go through the doors here and then you come up here. I figured I'd go with that concept instead of trying to build walkways and stuff up and down. The idea behind this is it's supposed to keep everybody on this side here. So yeah, let's get to the sand texturing. Come on. Wanted to talk to you about my texturing. Uh, white glue, a little bit of water and handfuls of sand. The one on the left is going to be the, mix the goopy mixture that I utilize to reinforce all of the glued down areas and also to give little bit more rusted texture to it dusty rusty the one on the right there is just a mixture of uh, white glue and water I'm mixing it a little slimier this time because I want to get a real uh, specific effect on the wall for the ash waste or for the secundus side secundus is weather <sighs> is different one of the areas that the wall is keeping out is all of the gene stealers uh the mal strain trying to get out but because they decided to bomb the hive for those of you that don't know because they decided to bomb the hive from orbit it kind of has its own weather pattern uh, with the game when we play the secundus uh campaign style the weather is going to be different than it is in the normal ash waste. And I wanted to get that effect on these wall pieces. Basically, you're going to see it more when we paint. But basically, I want to have regular ash waste on the, uh, well, it would be the outside, which is the side that uh, is in the app facing towards the ash waste. And I'm going to institute the green into the secundus side of it. And what I wanted to try to affect was, uh, you can see some of the dripping going on right there. I brushed it out right there, but I put this on ultra thick and sprinkled the sand on ultra thick as well. Uh, so that while it dried, it would start dripping. And in the shots coming up here on the walkway, you'll hopefully be able to see that. A lot more of that's going to come out in the painting. Um, uh, get back to you in the walkthrough.
Seriously, seriously excited, seriously happy to play uh, the Book of Desolation campaign. You can see the dripping effects. So that's supposed to be represent the warp storming that's going on above Secundus. Like I said, when we get to the painting video, you'll see it a lot more. I'm going to really make it uh, an effect. But so far, this has been great. I hope to see you guys for the future builds coming up on this. Thanks for stopping by, and as always, please like and subscribe.